So this has been a really interesting time. We have almost a third of the world population um, in some kind of quarantine or stay at home request, but it has the potential to reduce air pollution over the short term. My name is Kimberly Miner. I'm a research professor at the Climate Change Institute at the University of Maine. The global, if you will call it the global quarantine or the, the stay at home efforts are not going to be enough to defer climate change. Um, we're not going to see enough of a withdrawal of carbon from the atmosphere. We are getting emissions falls, but it's for all the wrong reasons. We're going to be distracted from climate policy. People will be very, very focused on social issues, on health, on education, on economic recovery and jobs. And while those things are going on, we won't be focusing on the long term. It's a very, very short term reduction in pollution and then it catches back up again very rapidly as soon as economic activity picks up. And if anything, it makes it worse. What you saw in 2009 or 2008 with the financial crisis, you got this dip in emissions, but then for the next decade, we had a slowdown of action on climate, which really only picked up again in the last few years. What we really would need to do as a global community is figure out a way to uptake more of the carbon out of the atmosphere. I think that the the challenge is going to be to not immediately jump back into what makes the most money, what makes the most impact, simply because this has been a very uncomfortable and challenging time of transition. So the most credible global estimate of how much we need to invest each year to stabilize the climate at no more than 1.5 degrees is $2.4 trillion of investment in clean energy every year. We're not doing anywhere near that much even before COVID. And so that is under renewed threat. We are not going to be able to go back to exactly where we were before the pandemic. How do we have a real FDR moment and build a new economy that's a little bit more sustainable? So the question is going to be, how do we integrate green practices, green energy, um, solar, different kinds of water power, wind power into all of our plans for economic recovery. So now we have the opportunity to make this the silver lining of this experience, if you will, to make a new model for where we want to move forward.